What's up? This is El Presidente with the Chainsaw Symphony on 91.3 WTSR Trenton right now. I'm sitting at a lovely picnic table with two gentlemen here, Tony and Mark. They're on the band Iron Reagan, and uh, they're going to kick some ass in just a little while here at the 2014 Barbecue. Boys, how you doing? What up? What up? I'm doing great. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a crazy crowd here, man. Is How many uh, barbecues have you guys played thus far? Probably every one, right? Uh, Municipal Waste played as has played right. one and Iron Reagan this is it I think this is okay. the this second, is, second one I've done this is my first barbecue guys yeah. oh wow he's a guar virgin he's a gorgin <laughs> I'm a gorgin yeah I forget that Iron uh, Reagan hasn't but been around for only a couple years as a sexual tool <laughs> political presidential humor Reagan <laughs> yeah we, we've been a man for a couple years that's it so yeah we haven't really done done many oh, the new uh, Let's talk about the new album real quick. Uh, it's called The Tyranny of Will. I had to look at my cheat sheet for that. It comes out September 16th, and I love the uh, first single, Miserable Failure, because nice. I relate to that quite a bit. I'm a 33-year-old college DJ, it's, so uh, yeah. it's right I up see, my alley. It's, it's about being, being old and <laughs> everyone thinks you're a failure. It's bullshit. <laughs> well, uh, what did your parents say when you're like, I'm going to be in a hardcore band they're now? They're fucking <laughs> pissed, and now they, they're stoked. Yeah. My brother's here right now. It's great. He came oh, nice. From Florida. Oh, M Buzz. Yeah, I'm T Buzz. He's M Buzz. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about writing lyrics. I think that's kind of, aside from remembering lyrics personally, like that's got to be the hardest thing. So, is there anything you do when you hit a wall to get in the zone? Like I was listening to Howard Stern talk to Willie Nelson, and Willie Nelson saying, nah, "I go on a drive like an open road and kind of clears my head." Is there anything that you do to put yourself in the zone to? Uh, write some lyrics yes I, I get our drummer to write lyrics <laughs> <laughs> he's good man. never thought of that he just he just he just gets in there and does it gets in there with the pen and paper and he just he really ah, he cranks him out. so if i'm if i hit a, if i hit a wall he fucking helps me out and a lot of the like more intelligent lyrics i'm i'm the more tongue-in-cheek lyrics you can tell like his, his it's the more intelligent iron Reagan lyrics and my shit's the more tongue-in-cheek sarcasm stuff, you know? And then he's, you know, Iron Reagan, I mean, the new album's got, what, how many songs? Like 25? 20, yeah, 24, 20, yeah, 25 <laughs> songs, something like that. But, uh, you know, so there's a lot of a lot of lyrics going on there. So, um, yeah, he helps me out a lot. And, um, yeah, Mark wrote, Mark penned lyrics to a song on the album, too. I, oh, yeah? I did. I, two, two songs. Two Speaking songs. of, Dave Brocky helped us write, yeah. a, write a song. Really? Yeah, Which one? Uh, Bill um, of Fights. Bill of Fights. When I, he was, he was talking, I don't even know how it even came about, but he was talking about uh, the Bill of Fights. If there, It was a list of things that he'd like to see changed in the world, you know, and he would say, the Bill of Fights, There, it's the fights that you've got to win. I mean, you know, it's, it's things like, yeah. you know, you know, food and, like, respect for everybody. I guess, you know, everybody has what they need, sort of cool, cool stuff, you know, and we just thought it was really funny, and... Uh, at the time, I was listening to a uh, Uniform Choice for some reason a lot on the tour, and it like just like stuck with me in my head. And I was just like, I'm gonna write like a youth crew style song. I'm gonna take Bill of Fights. I'm gonna construct a jam around it. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of like that one line from Dave, and then I just kind of ran with it. So nice. he was a great lyricist, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, among other things. You no, know, yeah, that's why we were like, that's <laughs> genius. Yeah. Were you were you guys at the memorial yesterday? Were they uh, set the uh, Set the costume ablaze in the middle of the lake. Man. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. We're at both of the memorials, yeah. actually. We were at the yeah. private yeah. one. Right. We're very, we're very close, man. We yeah. like, you know, we love Dave with all our heart. So. Yeah. What was it like, you know, um, growing up Richmond, Virginia? What was Guar like? Were they just like the band that everybody wanted to be like or idolized? It was like, weird when I came. I came. Uh, I came into Richmond in like the mid '90s uh, from Florida and. It was weird. There was a ban on Guar. They weren't allowed to play Richmond for years. Oh, wow. Because no Dave idea. whipped his d*** out at the flood zone. <laughs> and they were like, f***ing. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were banned from Richmond. There was like nowhere for them to play. And I went to the first show that, that they were allowed to play in Richmond. It was this tiny club. It's called Strange Matter Now. It used to be called Twisters. And uh, it was f***ing <laughs> stupid. Like, they shouldn't have played there. They, they can't fit. They you can't fit Dirks in the f***ing room. Like it's, it was crazy. Dirks! Yeah. And uh, I I was a kid. It was my first um, Guar show. I jumped on stage. I stole Dave's f***ing sword. And I staged over with it. And f***ing um, Mike Bishop kicked me in my f***ing face and knocked me out. Well, you stole the sword. You deserved I, I'm it. I'm sorry. It wasn't Mike Bishop. I'm sorry. It was Casey Orr. Okay. And Bob Gorman might have roughed me up a little bit too, but I was just a little smart-ass kid, and I was stoked. I, I had my own blood, 
I had fucking guar blood on me. Well, I had, like, it was a mixture. I had probably guar jizz. It was all kinds of good stuff. You got any uh, cool, like, Dave stories, like hanging with Dave, or maybe one of the uh, first million, times you million, met? A million. He was a fucking great friend of mine, and, uh, you know, it's, tr it's tragic, and, and uh, you know, I could, we've been talking about him the past few days, especially with all this. I'm glad that there was, like, you know, this, this like, months later to kind of remind everybody how much of a great guy he was. You know? Definitely. Well, uh, one of the things that Randy Bly said on stage was that, you know, Guar has some of the weirdest fans, which I don't think anybody could really <laughs> argue that too much. So uh, let's talk about your fans, Municipal Waste and Iron Reagan. Uh, what's the weirdest, like, fan encounter you had? Did you ever have, like, swingers come up this to you girl, and like, try to... stripped on, uh, on our merch table one time and had a tampon string sticking out, and everybody Ooh. started pointing at it. It was weird. <laughs> Did anybody pull it out? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Unleash the Red River. I saw a, I even saw like a, a little person here, a chick who's pretty hot. Did you ever have sex with a little person? Would I saw, you? I, I, I totally would. I don't give a fuck. If you're pretty and awesome, I'll fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> who could argue with that? Booyah. High Booyah. fives all around. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not uh, against, I'm equal opportunity come or. Yeah, there you go. You gotta be, it's man. Central way to be. Man, everybody, I see beauty in everybody. I'll fucking titty for you right now, dog. <laughs> for real? <laughs> All right, let me go shave my chest real quick. But uh, one last question. So probably opening for Metallica has got to be one of like the best gigs for like a metal band, right? For Put you on the map. Place? For or, uh, for Iron Reg and any any of your yeah. bands. Um, like, and you got to make sacrifices to be in a band. Would you be willing to uh, to slobber on Laris's uh, dingus to open for Metallica for a full year? I played with Metallica last weekend. You did. <laughs> yeah. So you don't even and have to do that. Absolutely right? not. <laughs> I just wanted to see how far you'd Maybe go. Maybe if he was an att attractive, charming person, but, yeah. you know. Maybe just an H.J.? I really know him, so I wouldn't, yeah, get, I I wouldn't even give him a hand job yeah, to play with this play band, actually. All right, guys. Well, thanks for talking with us today. I uh, can't wait to see you guys on the stage here at Guarbacu. Yeah. And uh, continue to kick ass. The new album is out on Thank September 16th. Much. See ya. Right on. What's up? This is Tony Foresta. And Mark Bronzino. From Iron Reagan, and you're listening to Chainsaw Symphony on 91.3 FM WTSR. <laughs> <laughs> the skid mark on radio's underwear.